I'm sure you've been out here on your start screen and you don't wonder what time it is and what day it is or whatever when you're trying to look up something like a date to put into a letter or something. We're going to go out to the store and find a, a really nice application. Uh, we're going to type in time and battery here because we're going to be able to use it on your laptop. And we're going to end up with this is a tile. And we're going to go down here to this time tile right here. That's going to allow us to load this tile up to our desktop, our start screen. Uh, to see, as it shows here, it's going to show us different status indicators right there without having to leave the start screen itself. Now, as you can see there here on the screen, it's got the, the nice display of time and battery power if you're on a laptop, uh, so on a mobile tablet maybe. Uh, so uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Uh, it's got pretty good reviews and everything, so we're going to wait for it to install here and take a look at the time tell there go ahead and install it so rather than go out to the desktop we're going to go right here to the configuration right away i want you to use location of course in order to give you your weather you need to have that run the background of course in order to send updates to the tile uh actually the lock screen you're just going to you want to have to go ahead and do that so now we're in the main configuration which has a lot of configuration you have a dot buttons here to do uh, so we're going to talk about, uh, go ahead and do that. But right here, you're going to see that we pin the uh, tile here. You can still do it the other way, but you need to do it through here to, to update it as well. And you can select which kind you want. And I'll show you a little later how you can change that. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, say pin to start. And we're off and running. Oh, except for the fact that it, asks you, it tells you that it's been done. So we're going to slide over to the right around. There it is, already done, configured. We're going to drag it back all the way over here. I'm going to put it in the first spot, the upper left-hand corner. I think it's a great place for it. You may want to put it in your lower left-hand corner. But there it is. It tells you the date, the time, the weather, uh, everything you want to have. So if you click on it, we can go into the configuration. Now you see it's selected as City Newberry Park, which is close to where I'm at, uh, because it's doing it by uh, location identification and different samples of the how what the weather is today. And I'm not going to go into stopwatch and timer. You can play around with those yourself. We're just going to configure the main tile for display. But you see there's a whole bunch of uh, other samples for other cities as well. But we're here we can configure which one of the ones we want. And you can scroll down and get some more, but I'm going to select this one down here, which I happen to like and what I want to have. If you have a laptop, you choose the one with a battery indicator on it. But here you can see you can have different selections that you want to do here. Now we're going to sit there and say the font color. And you can select any dark, dark color, for, for example, here. Uh, and you think it would update right away, but it doesn't. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But there's also uh, going to be other uh, things here, options for 24-hour. Just play around with these until you get to do what you want. Uh, alarm status. Now, of course, battery is grayed out because there's no, it's not a laptop I'm on. But there's the background color for the tile. You can change that. So if you, uh, let's go uh, back up here and make the font that in the background. Uh, well, you know what? I want the background to be that. So font to be a light color. Like, uh, let's try the gray and uh, do all that and change that back to a darker color. Okay, so you can do a photo in the background. You can do it to, to display the weather. You can tell do a lot of different things and configure the tile. So after we do all that, we come down here and say lock screen settings. We can tell it how... Uh, show the big wallpaper, display current location on the lock screen. Uh, we can disable a certain uh, double tap off and does the weather and Bing update uh, stuff. All sorts of different things here to play around with to figure out which application it shows, uh, a different a sleeping one or a flashlight if you're on a mobile device. Uh, a lot of different things. Over here there's some help information, pretty nice over here. Uh, answers to some of your questions. Uh, there's a privacy policy, and you can make a donation on his website, which wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Uh, but if we go back here, you'll notice that nothing's changed. No, nothing here has changed on the application itself. And that's because when you go into configuration, of it, you have to go over here and say Force Live Tile Background Update. So you click on that, and once you do that, and you watch here, and it refreshes, and boom, your changes are applied. So go ahead and play around with it. Go in the config. Just click on it to go to the configuration screen, and uh, figure out what you want, uh, how you want to look, what updates you want, photos, Bing, weather, whatever, and make it work for you until you like the way it looks on your uh, start screen setup. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.